hello everyone and welcome back again so dear friends we are discussing the model question paper so in this video i will just uh, i will explain the question number 9a which is based on the anova okay model model fifth over there okay a manufacturing company has uh, purchased three new uh, machines of different brands okay and wishes to determine whether one of them is faster than the others in producing a certain output okay so three new machines are there of different brands and manufacturing companies has uh, purchased okay so we have to determine which one is faster in producing certain uh, outputs over there okay so five hourly production figures are obtained at random from each other machine and the results are given below so this is the table is given and all the uh, outputs are given over here okay for a machine b machine and c machine okay these are the values five hourly values are given over here so use anova and determine whether the machines are significantly different in their mean speed given at five percent level f of 2 comma 12 is equal to 3.89 these are the degrees of freedom so in this uh, question he has given directly the five percent level of uh, significance f value is given okay so in uh, previous problems whatever we have solved so far so in that we were supposed to calculate this f value but in the problem it is given so we have to check uh, the f value if it is less than 3.89 then that is accepted if it is greater than 3.89 so definitely our hypothesis will be rejected okay so procedure is same whatever we were doing so far take the tab table as it is okay so take the sums of these terms 25 plus 30 plus 36 38 31 you just sum up you will get 160 right then 31 plus 39 38 42 35 you will get 185 24 plus 30 plus 28 25 28 you will get 135 okay and take the uh, squares of it also which will be useful for the formulas later on so uh, its square is 2000 sorry 25600 its square is uh, 34225 its square is 18225 okay and also make another box and take these squares 25 square is this much 31 square is this much and uh, 24 square is this much so so you have to take down squares of all these numbers okay then you have to add up these squares five uh, you are getting 5226 and uh, you have to add this much you will get 609 6915 and uh, you have to add this one you will get 3669 by adding this much you will get overall value summation of xij square is equal to 15810 okay this is the overall value now now the thing is uh, you have to use the formulas which will be available in your handbook so correction factor is equal to t square by n which is equal to t <coughs> the values are here okay 160 plus 185 plus 135 the grand total is 480 so t square is equal to 480 square divided by 15 n is the number of observations so you can see here 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 so the uh, number of observations are 15 in this case so 480 square divided by 15 is equal to 15360 total sum of squares there is also a formula summation of xij square minus correction factor so we have calculated this xij square here this is 15800 10 minus correction factor we have calculated here that is your 15360 which is equal to by calculating this much you will get 450 okay then sum of squares of treatments is equal to summation of ti square by ni minus correction factor see here we have also calculated this ti square so this is given by 25600 right divided by ni small ni so all small ni are the events see here a b c these are the three events or sorry these are the three machines in this case okay so divided by sorry this is uh, your five observations you have to take this five hourly production one two three four five okay so this is your 2005 uh, sorry 25600 divided by 5 plus 34225 divided by 5 plus 18225 divided by 5 okay minus this correction factor is already known here now 15360 while calculating this much you will get the summation of treatments as 250 okay then sum of squares of errors it is uh, denoted by se or sometimes sce okay sum of squares of sorry sse or se sum of squares of due to error which is equal to total sum of squares minus sum of squares of treatments okay so tss we have calculated 450 minus sst is 250 so you will get the sum of squares due to error as 200 okay now this is your ANOVA table okay where you are writing down the sources of, of variation degree of freedom sum of squares mean sum of squares and F ratio okay so between the treatments and error and total so degrees of freedom how you are calculating already you know k minus 1 what is the k value k is the number of 
machines in this case one two three so three minus one is two you will get the degrees of freedom two so for error uh, degrees of freedom is equal to number of observations minus number of machines in this case okay so n minus k that is 15 minus 3 is is equal to 12 okay these are the degrees of freedom as in the question itself it was mentioned that f 2 comma 12 okay these are the degrees of freedom 2 comma we are getting here 2 and 12 so 2 comma 12 you have to check the f ratio so sum of squares we are already getting we have already calculated sst so what is the sst value that is what 250 and what is your sum of squares of errors so that is also equal to 200 so mean sum of squares is always equal to this much ss divided by degree of freedom so 250 divided by 2 250 divided by 2 is equal to 125 and this much mse means sum of squares due to error it is equal to 200 divided by this 12 so 200 divided by 12 it is equal to 16.66 okay so f ratio how you are calculating whichever is maximum you have to take that first so 125 divided by minimum minimum is this one 16.66 so 125 by 16.66 is equal to 7.50 this we are getting the f ratio okay so what was the given f ratio it was 3.89 so you can write down the conclusion as f is equal to 7.50 is greater than this value given value 3.89 so you can write down the conclusion hypothesis is rejected i hope this is clear to you people so dear friends make sure you will share this video to all your friends and all the best for your examinations thank you